Here's the posse. Welcome to another episode of the Relic Posse. Today we've got a good one for you. Kind of looked into this spot. It's it's a field on one of the permissions we have, and our maps didn't show anything on there, but our maps only went back to about the 1850s. We only had a couple hours, it was so hot, but we found a lot of good stuff. If you like buttons, you're going to love this video, and we can't wait to get back there. Uh, seems there was a homestead, must have been earlier than the 1850s, so saddle up. It's time to take another ride with the posse. And we're off. Whoa, that's Bonanza. Alrighty, I got my first hole of the day. I got a fired and flattened round ball. Unfortunately, we're in central New York, so there's uh, no Civil War activity up here. But there was, however, Rev War and uh, War of 1812 battles and skirmishes all around here. It was probably fired at a deer, but maybe not. Chris just found a musket ball not too far from here, and I just got a chewed up musket ball. That is really chewed on. Um, let me hear, calm the sun down a little bit. Um, yeah, somebody was shooting back in the day. You know, there's animals or whatever that got at it, but it's definitely chewed up pretty well. All right, on to the next. And I just found my second good hole out in the field here. A nice big dandy button. Let's see if I can clean it up a little better. It doesn't look like there's anything on it. Let me see if I can get some of the dirt off. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything on it. But uh, nice smooth front. The shank's broken. Does look like milling on the back. And I think we might have found where something was, because Bill's just saying he got a thimble there, and Chris is over there saying he got a button. Very cool. Love the dandies. Love them more when they're designed, but still love it. All right, next hole. I actually thought it was a button when it first popped up. Then I realized it was some kind of bullet casing. So I thought it was uh, maybe an old 410 or something, but it's not. It's a uh, copper, a copper jacket. It's almost like 50 caliber. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a buffalo gun. If anybody can tell me, please let me know in the comments. It's pretty good size, whatever it is. It's got to be like a 50 caliber. I don't see any, uh, I don't know if it's a rimfire or what. I don't see any primer hits. I don't know if anybody could tell me. All right, I just dug this plug here out of the ground, and uh, I pulled this out. I didn't know what it was at first. It's it kind of got some brass. Uh, didn't know what it was. I thought it was just probably a foil top off a liquor bottle or something, but uh, I cleaned it up, and I don't know if you could see it or not, but it says Milwaukee Street Railway on it. That's kind of neat. It looks like it was an old... Uh, two-piece button the back's missing but uh the front is still there and uh it's in really good shape it uh you know not bad let me get it turned right here so you could see it um i think that's right side up can't really tell without my glasses on but um at least you're either looking at it upside down or right side up but um pretty neat all right we're gonna move around in this area for a little bit more and see what we could find Well, after the last couple of finds, this isn't nearly as old, but still kind of cool. Big old wrench. It's locked up. Can't get it to move, but we'll take it home. See if we can maybe get it working again. Love it. Okay. Just got myself a nice little button. Still has a shank. It's flat down, but... I don't know if that's quite a dandy button or not. It's kind of small for a dandy button, but kind of big for a regular button. Would this be considered a dandy? Any ideas? 
I do not see George W. on it, but I'm going to brush it off and see if it is. I'll be back. All right, I'm still in that area and uh, just found this nice old thimble. Very cool. So there was definitely, uh, had to be a house or something here. Let me get rid of the sun for you. There you go. Um, yeah, there have, definitely had to be a house or something in this area. And Mike, he's right over here, not too far from me, up by the road here. And he just found a dandy button. And Chris is over here. I don't know if you could see him. We're looking into the sun, but he just found something. So he's spitting on it, whatever it is. I don't know, maybe he got a worm to go fishing with next week, catch another one of those big monster bike. But uh, we're definitely going to hit this area in here and uh, hopefully be back at you. Making my way over to Bill. We just hit a spot where Chris was filming a button. Bill found a thimble. Chris found a dandy. I found a dandy. And Bill found a thimble. Yeah, just got a thimble. Well, that's a nice shape, yeah. too. Yeah, it is beautiful. Not bad. It's not silver, but definitely take it. Not bad. Absolutely. Love finding thimbles. And, uh, thimble and a couple of buttons. Definitely there was uh, some kind of house here back in the day. We know that it had to be earlier than uh, 1856. All That's right. The last map we looked at was 1856 and there was nothing there. Let's hit it hard then. Absolutely. Heading over to Chris. I just found that dandy. He said he found a dandy. Let's see which one of us is dandiest. Well, you're probably dandiest because this is not quite... I don't know. I think yours... Oh, mine's bigger, eh? Mine's prettier, but yours is bigger. Well, I don't yeah, know. You've got that... some kind of design around it. But design on the edge. I don't. I don't see GW. That's a Tomback, though, isn't it? Dandy Tomback? I think it is, yeah. That's and better. there's some milling on the back. That's cooler. No GW on either, but... Very dandy. Good job. I missed the last signal I ended up finding uh, I think what's a I think it's a V nickel it's kind of kind of tough some of it you can kind of make out the figure right there but then about well, that was probably 10 feet that way when I get over here I get this really Decent signal, mid 80s, bouncing around. It was, you know, let's say almost nine inches deep. I pull out this plug, you can see it. It is some sort of big copper. That is bigger than most. Large sense even. I'm gonna try and clean this up in a little while. Maybe let it dry out. See what I can come up with. Once I figure it out, I'll get back at you. Let you know. On to the next hole. Well, we are in the area where some buddies of ours found GW buttons. Not in this field, but just a few miles away. I just got a GW. A George Washington quarter. Can't see the year on it, but it's a state quarter, no less. Oh well, on to the next. All right, I was digging around my spot there for a while and couldn't find anything, and uh, came up on this little hill over here. And Chris said he's been finding a bunch of buttons, and on the way I passed Mike that found five buttons, and uh, they weren't lying. I just came up here and. Uh, Found a nice flat button. Uh, not bad. So hopefully uh, we'll be digging some more signals. Okay, I'll be back at you. Looks like I just found my second button of the day. Another good sized one. This one though has an intact shank. Not a tomback, I don't think, like the last. And doesn't seem like there's anything on it. Get this one cleaned up, see if there's anything on the back. There, cleaned off a little better. Looks like a little ding on that. 
I didn't do it. I might have been hit by a tractor at some point. Nice shank though. Still a nice looking button. Love it. I just dug button number two there. And right here, not even three feet away, button number three. This one's a pretty one. Love the design around the outside. Another intact shank. Let me see if I can clean this one off better. Yeah, this one's a beauty. So far, this is my favorite of the three I've dug. I'm gonna keep hitting this area, see what else we might find. Absolutely love it. Okay, I just found a nice little uh, button. I forget what they're called, it's concaved. I don't remember what these buttons are called. It's not a Tombeck, I don't think, but it's hard to tell if there's anything on it. It's kind of crusted on the top. It looked like a design at first, but it's just crusty. It's got the full shank. It's got morning shank. Nice. All the buttons around here and thimbles and all that good stuff. There's got to be coins. There must have been a house somewhere in this area that is not on the 1800s maps. The house up there is 1700s, so maybe there is something 1700s here. Cool though. Alright, just dug a plug up here and uh, got this. I don't know if it's a little uh, little flat button or what it is. I don't see a shank on it. I'm gonna gonna clean it up and uh, get back uh, get back with you and find out what it is. Um, like I said, I think it's a little flat button, but I don't feel a shank. So uh, I'll get right back at you and let you know what it is. Well, this was a surface find. You find the old cow tags like this, and they're a nice big heavy metal. The newer ones are plastic. Either way. Cow 38, where are you? Okay, another hole, another button. Nice little flat button. I don't think it has anything on it. Shank is broken off. Still cool though. Definitely a household around here somewhere, but uh, we're just not finding any coins yet. All right, on to the next. All right, some writing on the back, writing on the front. Uh, I don't think it's a coin, but I don't know what it is. I still can't tell whether it's a button or not. If it is, the shank's been cleaned off really smooth. Uh, going to have to clean it up better. I can't really tell on this side anything, but uh, this side there's definitely some design on it and some writing, which could be the back of a button or it could be a coin. But uh, if it is a coin, it's nothing I've ever seen. But uh, I think it's probably a little small cuff button of some sort. But after I get it all cleaned up sometime, we'll uh, get it out there what it is. All right, back at you. Well, I'm out a little bit further in the field. Car's over there. Bill's over there. Chris is way up that way. And I've just found button number four. A little bit smaller, doesn't look like there's anything on it. Shank's bent over on this one. Still pretty cool though. It's now a four button day. Love it. Well, that last hole was a gas, or a gas cap anyway. Dug deep for it. Wasn't sure what I was getting. Kind of neat. Let's see what we find next. Okay, since my last little dig that I showed, I got three more buttons. I'm videoing them all at the same time. The largest one is out of this hole here, the one on the right. That is a nice flat button. This one here has a little fancy on the back, and this one has writing on the back. I can't see what it says, but there's one word that looks like either best or last. I'll have to look it up later. Missing the shank, smush shank. Yeah, I guess that's a smush shank too. 
Alright, on to the next. Alright, I uh, just found out it uh, looks like it might be a broken key or something. I don't know what it is, but uh, that's what it looks like. Broken key. Alright, back at ya. Thought I had a musket ball at first, now I'm not so sure. It's nice and round, it's got patina. Not super old patina, but still it's got a patina. But it's just a little bit odd shaped and a little bit heavier than a typical musket ball. Not sure what this is. Is it a musket ball that's just a little deformed, maybe shot, or is it something completely different? If you know, let me know in the comments below. Appreciate it. We've reached the end of another fun episode and today we're going to celebrate with a citra bomb. But since Chris and Bill don't like citrus drinks, I enlisted the help of their stunt doubles. So this is Citra Bomb by the Sloop Brewing Company. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap! That is, that is really good. Since Chris isn't here, I guess I'm going to have to say it. Take off, eh?